Meanwhile, Libya's head of the UN-backed government says the country needs adequate international support to manage its transition. Speaking at the 72nd United Nations General Assembly, Fayez al-Saraj said his country was working to leave the past behind and work towards stability. Despite the previous UN-mandated agreement, Libya remains divided. I thank all those who attended the special meeting on Libya this morning. It enjoyed a great deal of interest, and everyone present reaffirmed that the backdrop to any solution must remain a political one, and assistance will be needed for the presidential and parliamentary elections next year. We ask the Secretary General and the Special Envoy to present us with a timeline and a clear message aimed at all those who are attempting to impede this process. They must understand there is no military solution and that we have to stop those who are negotiating with parallel authorities because this would be a violation of Security Council resolutions. <laughs> For more on this, we're joined by CGTN's Adel Mahru in Cairo. Adel, the UN seems decided that the Libyan peace process needs a re-engineering. Is the latest plan being proposed likely to make a big difference? Well, the problem is, um, yes, it is an, an all-inclusive um, deal or an all-inclusive approach by Rassan Salama, the new UN um, Libya envoy. Um, and it is, it sounds quite significant that it has, uh, or at least Salama has thought of those who have been more or less neglected. And in his term, he said that he wants to include all those who have been marginalized or have taken aside from um, the political area. And he, he was referring to the elections that has um, created the Eastern Parliament in Tripoli, which many Islamist parties have boycotted. In any case, um, it makes um, or, or it puts back the old Libyan problem once again back. And that is the inclusion of Islamists, the inclusion of um, um, armed groups or militant uh, groups uh, in Libya to include them uh, in a unified uh, military, uh, Libyan military forces, which is a matter that has been severely criticized and totally, uh, still up until today, has been totally rejected by General Khalifa Haftar, the leader of the Libyan National Army and the Eastern uh, Parliament back with its own um, government. At the same time, um, they don't want to see Khalifa Haftar uh, in power or in any leading uh, position in um, the Libyan army. Now, the, the positive side is that um, many analysts believe that what was going on with rushing with elections would in turn or might w uh, yield a similar um, results that we've seen that has divided Libya. We have elections that brought an Eastern uh, Parliament to the side while most of the Western powers have boycotted it and this was one of the main steps that has divided the country. So what he's saying may, be, may look as an all-inclusive and therefore a solution but he has not tackled the core of this uh, Libyan crisis, which is the rejection of um, the um, former uh, army generals uh, who used to um, work under um, uh, President Omar al-Qazafi to the Islamists and the rejection of the Islamists to them. And this remains the core conflict that Ghassan did not clearly tackle um, during his speech at the United Nations. Adel, what are the required elements for a Libya peace plan to yield a broad-based consensus and success in stabilizing the country? Well, there, there must be compromise from all Libyan parties, including uh, included in this um, very tough equation uh, for a peace uh, solution and stability with a unified government. Um, but what we've seen in all years uh, of this uh, conflict is that they, many of these parties have been holding tight to their grounds. Um, while there are talks of uh, uh, proceeding to um, uh, talks uh, and new form or new round of negotiations that will start um, next week in Tunisia, um, there have been some progress by uh, military troops towards um, the, the West. Uh, which means that there, there, it seems that those who have uh, main uh, control over major areas uh, of land in Libya are progressing with their own plans regardless 
to the outcomes of these um, negotiations. And also the regional powers um, around Libya have uh, a role in that. Um, and there are countries like Egypt who um, have a clear position of supporting General Khalifa Haftar and rejecting any Islamists, particularly the Muslim Brotherhood, to rise in power uh, in Libya, which would uh, in a sense um, fuel um, the political um, division. But at the same time, um, they, the Islamists, on the other hand, must accept those in the East as well. So it is, it, it is more of um, a fundamental um, change to the, the belief uh, of the rival parties rather than reaching an agreement with several points without actually changing their minds about having an, an inclusive government and an inclusive country. Mm, thanks very much for those insights. Adel Mahroui, live for us in Cairo.